Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing an interaction I had with two people that had, uh, in my opinion, a shocking take on PTSD and who it can and more importantly cannot affect. Uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to say that if you or anyone you know is suffering from the effects of PTSD, depression, or having suicidal thoughts, uh, you're not alone. There is help out there, and I encourage you, please, please, please seek help. Right here is the number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and I'll also have that linked in the description below. So again, you're not alone, and please seek help. Thank you. Yo, what's up, everybody? For some reason, the... Uh... Oh, now the desktop audio is one to work. All right, we'll take it. What's up, everyone? So I had a doozy of a morning. So when I was getting my hair cut today, there were two, uh, two individuals in the shop that I was wearing a firefighter shirt and they told me, I, I don't know how the topic got brought up, but the topic of PTSD among firefighters and police officers and stuff like that is the thing. Sig, if you don't know, PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder. It is most notorious among uh, military veterans who come home from war and they're hurting. Hey, the thing worked. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, It's starting to be recognized that firefighters, police officers, emergency medical people, EMS or EMTs can also suffer from PTSD. I, the, and that, that's very much true. What happens is we respond to so many, yeah, uh, we respond to so many calls and we see so many things that eventually something something is going to catch up to you something is going to make you not sleep as well god forbid take up drinking and have alcohol abuse drug abuse those run rampant through the fire and police services because of stuff that's seen what up jesus yo all right so th this is becoming more and more well known it's less about tough it out and more about, hey, there's serious problems going on. Suicide rates are going up among fire and police, uh, drug and alcohol abuse rates. I will let you know when we do the gender reveal stream or my brother will let you know. But continuing on, so I'm getting my haircut this morning and, whoops, and two individuals that were in there, what was, oh. I told me that firefighters don't get PTSD. That's not a thing. PTSD is strictly reserved for the military. And I tried to have a good discussion with them, but it was really disheartening whenever they were saying, you know, uh, nothing I see can compare with what they see when you go to war, which I'm not saying is wrong. People who serve in the military go through go through quite a bit. They're away from home. They see death, destruction, God knows what else. I'm not a service member. I'm not taking away from what service members do. They are heroes. But I tried to explain to him as uh, kindly as I could some of the things I have personally seen and how it has affected many of those close to me. So despite my explaining to them, hey, here's what I've been through. Here's what I have seen. I, uh, yeah, exactly, Jesus. Just because some have it worse doesn't mean others don't have it bad. Okay. But it was kind of like the whole armchair quarterback thing. Where was I, uh, oh, if I was out there and I saw these, it wouldn't affect me. If I was, yeah, exactly. I, uh, I tried to explain to them that, um, 
This is gonna... Okay, how can I... I'm trying to think of what is, like, appropriate enough for stream that you guys won't have to worry or I can't affect you. Uh, okay, here here's an example of a particularly recent rough call was I was on a fire, a house fire. Uh, a victim was pulled out and he did not make it. He passed away. And so when you hear... Like, seeing a, seeing somebody like that, it sucks, but I, that, that doesn't personally bother me as much as the family's reaction. Because the family that did get out now had to witness this, and we were there working a code while the family was in distress and screaming and crying. This is just before Thanksgiving, mind you. I uh, and what's rough about it is that immediately after that call, do you know what we did? We went back to the station, we cleaned up, and we got ready for the next call. We don't have that time to stop and think. Uh, and so I try to explain to these two individuals that <clears throat> PTSD is absolutely a thing that can affect firefighters. Another example was there was the unfortunate, and rest in peace buddy, uh, suicide of my friend who seemed happy-go-lucky everything was good but clearly there was some demons going on so I just thought it was pretty ignorant that they can accuse others of clearly in their mind not going through stuff having not gone through it themselves or not knowing what the full experience is they I think they just assume firefighters go to work watch TV go to bed cook good food and uh, come home, not in that particular order. So I, I just wanted your guys' thoughts on that. And uh, don't worry, like, you are entitled to your opinion in this stream. I will not judge you for your opinion if you think otherwise. Um, but I'm just curious if anybody has any other thoughts on that. Like, it, it kind of it kind of rattled me a bit this morning. But I, I kept it a good, peaceful conversation. People can have a lot of things, yeah, not just from war. PTSD can come from many, many, many things. Um, to lie, anything that is traumatic can affect anyone, service, non-service, my brother is an AP, yeah. Uh, another example of PTSD not being a civil servant, not being military, was my mom uh, 20, oh, 20 years ago or so had uh, somebody attacked her office, a crazy ex-boyfriend, and shot at a lot of people, my mom included. She made it out okay, very fortunately. She wouldn't touch a gun, she wouldn't go near guns. Guns terrified her. A loud pop in the night scared her. That is PTSD. So it's, I'd almost say it comes from a place of ignorance to assume that nothing can cause PTSD. And I don't mean to start this stream off on, like, a, a sad note. Um, you know, it's... I would rather it be educational. Oh, that's a cool little move. 